Hi and welcome to week 33 of economics. So this week we're going to delve into five key topics. Uh, the growth of the gig economy, automation and its impact on employment, immigration's economic consequences, corporate governance structures, and the economic ramifications of intellectual property rights. So, first up, we'll analyze the growth of the gig economy and its effects on traditional employment structures. The gig economy, characterized by short-term freelance or on-demand work facilitated by digital platforms, has witnessed exponential growth in recent years. While providing flexibility and autonomy for workers, it has also raised concerns about job security, benefits, and labor rights. The rise of gig work has challenged traditional employment models, prompting debates over labor regulations, social safety nets, and the future work and the future of work, excuse me, in an increasingly digitized economy. Then we'll explore the effects of automation, artificial intelligence, and robotics on employment patterns, wages, and job polarization. Advances in technology have led to automation of routine tasks across various industries, reshaping job roles and skill requirements. While automation has boosted productivity and efficiency, it has also contributed to job displacement, wage stagnation, and polarization between high-skilled and low-skilled workers. Addressing these challenges requires proactive measures such as investment in education, retraining programs, and policies to mitigate inequality and promote inclusive growth. Shifting gears, let's examine the, we'll examine the economic consequences of immigration, including its effects um, on labor markets. So immigration plays a complex role in shaping economic dynamics with impacts varying across sectors and regions. While immigrants contribute to labor force growth, entrepreneurship and innovation, they also face integration challenges and competition for jobs. Studies suggest that immigration can have modest effects on native wages and employment, with benefits outweighing costs in the long run. Effective immigration policies that balance economic, social, and humanitarian considerations are crucial for maximizing the benefits of immigration while addressing potential drawbacks. Moving on, we'll investigate the structures and mechanisms of corporate governance, including the roles of shareholders, board of directors, and executive compensation. So corporate governance plays a critical role in ensuring accountability, transparency, and alignment of interests between stakeholders. Shareholders exert influence through voting rights and proxy contests, while boards of directors oversee strategic decision-making and executive oversight. Executive compensation practices, including performance-based incentives and equity awards, aim to align executive interests with shareholder value creation. However, Concerns persist about excessive CEO pay, board independence, and corporate accountability, highlighting the need for robust governance frameworks and regulatory oversight. Finally, we'll explore the economic ramifications of intellectual property rights, which encompass patents, copyrights, and trademarks. So IP um, rights play a vital role in incentivizing innovation, creativity, and economic growth, by granting exclusive rights to creators and inventors. However, debates surrounding IP laws and enforcement abound, particularly regarding their impact on competition, access to knowledge, and technological progress. Balancing the interests of innovators, consumers, and society at large remains a central challenge in IP policy. With ongoing discussions on issues such as patent reform, copyright infringement, and open access initiatives shaping the future of intellectual property. So I want to thank you for following along. I look forward to working with you all in class this week. Thank you.